Hey there and welcome to Get Indie Gaming. Well, there's really no other way to kick this all off other than saying how damn straight up good Ape Out really is. Now when I say good, it's honestly all sorts of next level goodness. It's a fine Sunday roast with all the trimmings levels of goodness and I don't feel it's too hyperbolic to mention that not only is it a surefire contender for game of the year, it's probably, no it's definitely made its way into the top three indies I've ever played. Now I really, really mean it. It's right up there nestling alongside my other all-time faves of Dead Cells and Axiom Verge. Of course, it's not perfect, and I can see why some folks' first impressions might be a little less than flattering. The garish colour scheme, the blocky art style and how it has more than a passing resemblance of Hot Line Miami, well it might leave you cold. I'll come on to other floors where I find them, all in due course, and yet what Ape Out does with its gameplay loop, the implementation of its control mechanism, level design, how it looks and sounds, Ape Out should in time become considered as one of the classics of indie gaming. So Ape Out is a top-down action game where you play as an incarcerated gorilla. You begin having escaped from your cell with you needing to make your way through a number of maps, ranging from an office block to an army base while protecting yourself from huge numbers of guards and their weaponry which gets more and more troublesome and deadly as you progress through the game. At the start, these guards come at you with rifles, although it's not too long before the SWAT team and snipers arrive. With them, the guards on the floor get themselves upgraded weaponry, such as shotguns, machine guns, explosive vests, and later on, they tool themselves with flamethrowers and RPGs. While the guards are fairly troublesome, you are, after all, a highly annoyed gorilla, and you're able to smash and hurl anything that comes close enough into walls or each other in an explosion of blood and body parts. The control setup is easy to master by way of the sticks and with a shove move on one trigger and a hold action on the other. This hold move is pretty cool and you can use it to turn guards into human shields and also have their own weaponry turned against their colleagues. There's somewhat of a fine perverse pleasure to be had in grabbing hold of a guard with a machine gun or flamethrower whereby the on-screen action turns into a snappy little twin-stick shooter for the briefest of moments. While you may be one badass gorilla, you're certainly no bullet sponge. It only takes a handful of hits before you're nothing but brown bread, having respawned at the beginning of the level. Now here's a thing I learned early on about the game. While on the face of things, Ape Out is perhaps little more than a mad fast as hell dash from level entry to exit, if you're precise and have patience, it actually affords for a far more subtle and no less visceral gaming experience. I found sometimes it easier to progress by taking a measured approach to getting stuff done, which turns out is pretty much in keeping with the developer's original concept of the game. You see, Ape Out started its way back as a stealthy affair, and once you hone into this type of playstyle using sneak to your advantage, it experientially moves upwards and onwards several levels. In fact, here's a thing. You will, I suspect, get so much more from Ape Out if you use a mix and match approach. By all means, have your fun with the chaos of blasting your way through, but please take the time, slow things down every once in a while and play and think strategically. It's just as fun, amusing and satisfying in tricking the guards to fire upon themselves via use of misdirection as it is to pummel drive them head first into a wall while leaving a bloody mess on the floor. As for the visuals, well I find them all rather pleasing, and here's another thing. The design choices at play here really do mute some of the hyper-violence that's on display. Sure things are still gruesome, and yet the overall animated textures really do soften things down a touch. For many, well this won't really be a thing, and yet for me, it's an appreciated direction to have taken. The one thing with Ape Out I can't praise enough though is the use of the free-flowing jazz score with its dynamic and ever-changing rhythmic sections with its tempo and intonations matching what's happening on the screen. Every smashed window, bashed up door or guard that's squashed into the human equivalent of what comes out of a can of tomato sauce is punctuated by drum beats and cymbal clashes and you know what? I'm constantly drawn into thinking this super reactive score 
is very much the gel that holds and binds the whole game together, and it's actually this, the score and direction that Ape Out takes, that makes it so engaging. It's kind of like going out for a run whilst listening to music. The faster the music, the faster I seem to run, and the same type of thing is at play here in Ape Out. Play fast and hard and so does the jazz, which in turn helps push the player on to play faster and faster until they get sloppy and in doing so, they die. Play the game slow and mellow, i.e. stealthily, the game reacts accordingly and helps heighten the overall suspense. While the situational approach to the soundtrack has been done before, I can't think offhand who has done it this well. So what are the issues I mentioned at the start of the video? Well, if I'm honest, I have to look really hard to find them, and yet again, as in any game which uses procedural generation, you get instances where the design offers up scenarios where the difficulty spikes way too much in the game's favour. That being said, and yet again if I'm open and honest, while it's annoying, frustrating and bothersome, it didn't happen too often and it's certainly not enough for me to raise as something to worry about. I did say earlier I had to look really hard to find anything overly awry with this one, and that's pretty much all I've got to shake a finger at. Now I shouldn't really need to say it, and yet I'll tag it here. Ape Out won't be for everybody. For me, it sits so high up in the tree of indie games I've ever played, because it does everything I want in a game, and it does it so very well. Nearly better than anything else I've played to date. Yes, I'll accept that's so very subjective, but that's the nature of passing such opinions from time to time. I love the art style, the implementation of the musical score is exquisite as is the gameplay. It keeps offering new elements and new things to do the deeper and deeper you get into game. All in, Ape Out is smart, clever and highly addictive in a good wholesome way, and at launch it comes in under 15 US dollars or 11 British pounds, it shouts value for money like a primal scream. I'll conclude here with this. It's art like Ape Out, because yes, Ape Out is an out and out artistic triumph why I'm so supportive of the indie gaming scene. As the AAA side of the market continues within its funnel, it's these refreshingly original games that continue to push the needle that little bit further. I honestly hope Ape Out gets the exposure, cut through and sales it richly deserves.